Hey, we hope you guys are doing good. We are group four, section 35, and we will be discussing the case BBC Private Limited. I'm Rajveer, and my group members are Onajiti, Pulawati Fe, Daniel, and Gurnish. And Gurnish will give us a case overview. Overview. Established in 2004, the company's registered office was in Bangalore and the manufacturer unit was in Lucknow. BBC was managed by two directors, Agarwal and Mukesh Kumar, small-scale Indian chemical manufacturing company. BBC was characterized as a small-scale industry in the field of chemical manufacturing. The company produced and sold bleaching powder using the raw materials as liquid chlorine. Manufactured and stole, sold stable bleaching powder. Bleaching powder can be manufactured through two techniques, absorption and adsorption. The quality of the product manufactured by the absorption technique was much superior than the one manufactured using the adsorption technique. Now, Onajite will talk about the working capital. I'll be talking about the working capital and then whether their working capital policy was a failure or a success. In our opinion, the working capital was a failure in, on three grounds because of their conservative working capital. BBC adopted a conservative and traditional working capital management. And then we can see this, that their assets are 10 times more than their liabilities. And this is not a very good position to be in. Also, BBC were very liberal to their um, creditors. They were giving them that they can pay at any time. Why they themselves were paying that their creditors, not leaving them much more money to be liquid for, for them. And um, this commerce conservative working capital leads to a lower sales efficiency and can also dissuade um, potential investors. Also, they had no room for bad debt because they were very liberal with their customers that they could pay at any time. This made them not to have any money. And if their customers had any problem where they had to close shop, that means they will be taking that, their money with them. And BBC not having any um, money to fall back on would not be able to settle its own debts. Also, we, we calculated the high working capital ratio and found out that BBC had the high working capital ratio of eight in 2009, which increased to 18 in 2010 and 16 in 2011. However, these working capital ratios are very high because the ID capital ratio is supposed to be between the range of one or two. Next point to be discussed by Bulawati Fair should be talking about the inventory turnover ratio. I'll be talking about the inventory turnover ratio. We calculated the inventory turnover ratio to show how efficiently a company's inventory is turned into sales. Judging from the table 2009, for their inventory, they had nine days. 2010, they had 32 days. 2011, they had 15 days. We can see that the days are increasing over the year. Then for the raw material also, they had 2009, they had four, four days. 2010, they had seven days. 2011, they had 17 days. And in 2009, they had less days. So it takes more time for the company to convert their inventory into sales. The next slide, which is cash position, will be, this, will be explained by Raj. Okay, so looking at the balance sheet, we can see the position of the company and where the cash is. So the cash is really blocked in the credits of the receivables. So this shows us that they are really, really having regular policies about their accounts receivable and they are what we think the reason for that is that they want to build an image as a small company. They are letting their customers a lot, giving them a lot of freedom. Then secondly, decreasing in cash. We can see over the years, there has been a decrease in cash as they have bought more inventory. And in 2011, the cash figures are four lakh fifty thousand, And that is not even enough to cover their interest on the loans and then they have increased their purchases so looking at those figures we think their cash position is also not really good and now daniel would 
give us the recommendations of uh, what the company should do. Okay, so basically I'll be giving the recommendation of what the company should do. First of all, they should improve the AR policy. Now, improve the AR policy. The policies are really, really liberal. So they need to improve that because a lot of funds are lost in it. Secondly, if they convert the AR policy into cash, it will be easier for the company to take the contract. Now, secondly, um, they should take the contract. Now, BBC Limited should take the contract because it will improve their sales. Because as seen in the case, they had a decrease in sales for, for the previous year. So the contract will help them to improve their image as well as the infrastructure as they can get a better warehouse for the already purchased inventory. Now, secondly, um, since the contract has to do with um, a renowned company such as um, Indian Railway, it will definitely improve their image. So that will be all. Thank you very much.